This video shows how to set up your own ribbon bar in Microsoft Access uh, starting from 2007 up to Office and Access uh, 2016. That's today. Now we have here this ribbon bar and the, uh, the upper menu bar is now the ribbon bar in Microsoft Access and uh, when you want to um, uh, modify this uh, menu bar, then you need a, a table which is called Uses Ribbon, but you won't see it. So what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, navigation bar, that's the left bar and uh, the bar on the left side. You, here you have navigation options and there you have to click on this option, system objects, objects to show. and uh, usually there's, uh, you won't find a use this ribbons, you have to, um, to create one just to create a new, uh, t an empty table and you have to set in there um, a field which is called ribbon name with a, a short text, that's the title, uh, auto increment, uh, ID ribbon for example, and then a ribbon XML it's a, a long string memo and former uh, memo uh, field type in the former databases and the description, for example. Uh, in the ribbon, uh, when you switch to the uh, to the to show the records, then you will see here in the here's the name of the ribbon. Then you have a XML tag uh, stuff somewhere there. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you. Uh, it's uh, quite complicated to uh, edit this, and uh, it's not not really uh, made for editing. So what you have to do here, you have to uh, use a small trick, like tricky. You go to to the uh, desktop. There you create a small file which is called uh, let's say here, uh, file the text document, which is called temp uh, ribbon, let's say to XML, and you're deleting the TXT XML. Then you, the, the message comes up that the extension is uh, changing the behavior of the file. Now we say yes, and when you open this, uh, you will uh, automatically be uh, st start the starting the uh, Visual Studio in this case Community Edition. You have to install Visual Studio on your machine, but I think most people have this when they use uh, uh, Microsoft Office. So uh, now we're taking this example, and uh, you may find this uh, XML code on the download file. As an example, when you drop it in there, now it's uh, better to read its uh, XML text. Um, it should be useful that you take uh, this small uh, sample and then what you see here is uh, the ribbon may, might be created from uh, scratch, a start from scratch, so all other stuff is uh, deleted, so it's a blank ribbon bar. And then you have to create a tab and you have to uh, you have to create tabs and you have in the tab you are creating a tab and there are tab group and there are buttons and um, here are the that's the images uh, there's uh, there are named images in there uh, you will find this uh, on several several references uh, there are special names from Microsoft uh, Access and you always will find this on action and the on action there's a function and uh, parameters and you have to uh, create or uh, this function in your code base so here uh, now it goes when you modi modify this one uh, and you when you've got the the logic of doing this then you may drop it in there and as soon as you save it, the, the file, uh, the record set, um, not in this case, then 
the uh, the setup will be here in uh, on the form when you go in the form and click on the left uh, corner then you have the settings of the um, of the form itself and there you will find name of the menu band uh, of the ribbon bar I don't know how it's called in the now in English now you have rib application for example here and when you start this then you will see those uh, beautiful for uh, three buttons. Uh, so what I come down to is uh, this um, small uh, the function which you have to write in on action. Uh, for this you have to uh, <coughs> create a module and in this module you have to to write this uh, general function. Here it is. Just take this one uh, copy this and make you uh, drop it in your own file it's a public function and then the name and then uh, parameters so that's the public the name equals uh, so on action um, equals the name of the function uh, and then the bracket round bracket and in there's the parameter for in this case what I'm doing there is no. No, okay. uh, in this case we have uh, it's the form name for example and when the code comes from the ribbon bar it goes to the public function it gives the parameter and then it does, does the uh, do command open form so that's a quite simple example of that and as you see here uh,